dear colleagues, I'm happy to see you on my channel SL Games and Teaching Tips with Jenny White. Nice to meet you. Let's be friends. Find me on socials. So I continue sharing games from my new book SL Games for School. The games were tested by teachers in 20 countries and proved to be really effective. So check the link in the description box. Today's game was shared by a teacher from Iran. Thanks a lot. Your game is amazing. My students often ask me to play this game. It's exciting, engaging. It's a game for practicing word formation and word transformation. And it's called Four in a Row. The best thing about this game is that it can be played online and offline, in pairs and in teams, and with actually any number of students, from 2 to 40. Today I will show you how to play this game on a flip chart online with a group of 12 students, and then I will explain how to adapt it for larger and smaller groups and for different levels of English. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you like the game, please. First, write the root words in a grid and divide your students into two teams. Explain that the task is to make a new word using suffixes or prefixes. Mark the answers with two different colors. Team 1 – red color, team 2 – blue color. For example, Team 1 says, act activity, mark it with red. Team 2 says, real unreal, mark it with blue. Team 1, like, dislike. Team 2, mm, day, daily. The winner is the team who will manage to put four new words in a row, either horizontally, for example, harm, harmful, act, action, real, unreal, care, careful, or vertically or diagonally. And now, before I tell you how to adapt the game for different purposes, please turn on the notification bell, don't forget about it, to stay up to date with my future videos. Well, the more students there are in your group, the more teams and words should be in the game. 20 students, 3 or 4 teams, 30 students, 5 or 6 teams. And the number of words should be, roughly speaking, equal to the number of students. For example, for a group of 40 students, 42 words in a 6 by 7 grid. If there are more than 4 teams, instead of different markers, you can use ticks, crosses, circles, stars, moons, etc. To make the game more difficult for more advanced students, you can make them fight for every word. For example, act. Team 1 says active. Team 2, action. Team 3, activity. The point will be given to the team who formed the last word in the word formation chain. The game is really effective and students will benefit a lot from playing it, even those who will only listen to their friends' answers. So don't forget to hit the notification bell not to miss my next video – how to make shy teenagers switch on their cameras. And check the link in the description box, the link to my new book ASL Games for School. What other topics would be interesting for you? Tell me in the comments and see you soon on the channel SL Games and Teaching Tips with Jenny White. Good luck and enjoy every moment of your lessons.